Moving on. Let's let's go ahead and get the uh, this out of the way for Nelson. Um, guys. I'll I'll, stay, I'll stick around. I'm um, <laughs> I'm I'm. Have you? For uh, the moment. Have you guys seen Ghostbusters, the new one? I guess Ghostbusters yeah. 2016. And, and I, yeah. I guess we're just like, like I said, we won't go through all the plot and all that. I guess just a quick summary of uh, your thoughts on the movie and then your whatever your proprietary system is that you use, um, uh, that's what you will give it. You know, your a score for it. So we'll begin with, uh, with Nelson here. Nelson, tell me what you think of Ghostbusters 2016. Oh, I like uh, I like Blake going first. I won I won first last time. Okay. Uh, for the rest. Just wants to shit on it last. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 want, I want to take a big dump on it. <laughs> All right. I will not be taking a dump on it. I thought it was fun. I mean, it's pretty generic summer fair, honestly. Um, I mean, there's nothing really that spectacular about it. I I feel like. They were a bit slavish in, in their kind of obeisance to the previous film. There's so many homages and things that they that are in there that I suppose they felt they had to put in there. I I don't I personally don't think they had to put them in there. Like all the homages and cameos. I, yeah, I will say that 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 was the one thing I could critique on it. They crammed all those those cameos felt crammed. Yeah, it's like these things these things do nothing but hold it down. And what's more, they even date it, too. Um, uh, and also, there's, uh, you know, and I suppose that the vitriol surrounding the film, you know, was out there before they really started shooting for the film. So there's very clear, like, plot points in the film that are, like, that are acknowledging the fact that they're addressing the vitriol surrounding its own production. So it's actually kind of, I think it's actually kind of important as like a document of its own time. Oh, I guess you know history will tell, but um, <laughs> but the point is is that they specifically talk about not listening to YouTube commenters, and the villain <laughs> is essentially just a basement dwelling. Well, he doesn't have a neck beard, but he's essentially just like a loathsome uh, <laughs> toilet scrubbing. Uh, uh, <laughs> fanboy <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> they did that actually. I mean, it's like good for a laugh but at the same time <laughs> like come on <laughs> it's like it's like don't show them that you're even paying attention yeah now they're gonna like troll you even worse for the if you get a sequel uh, <laughs> Kate McKinnon might uh, blow up in films in the next uh, year or two uh based on her performance in this. Not saying it was like, uh, you know, it, it's just that she really stood out. Not saying that she was, you know, quite good, which she was actually pretty good, but, you know, but she definitely stood out amongst the rest of the cast and a lot of people saw her. So I think she's going to get that, uh, you know, uh, post SNL bump that, you know, a lot of people get when they migrate from SNL to films. Yeah. Um, uh, I thought she was great. You know, I thought some of the jokes were were funny. Some of them might have been sort of unintentionally funny. Yeah. Uh, I I laughed throughout uh, most for the most part. Uh, but yeah, you know, you, you kind of. But it's almost like laugh and then cringe at you know the uh, at the, the 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 movie either you know paying too much homage to its forebears or acknowledging. The world outside of its own production. Yeah, kind of uh, borderline breaking the uh, was it breaking the fourth wall? Yeah, it, it just it felt like an anchor. Three and a half popcorn flakes out Three of seven. Three and a half popcorn flakes out of seven. Would you recommend people watching this film? Yeah, and I think it um, it actually has kind of an importance as a historical document of you know the the kind of internet culture surrounding its time in that way. And that its production certainly seeped into uh, the film itself, the outside world. I mean, so even though, so what you're saying is, even though like some internet people tried to take take this movie down, they've only ensured that it will be remembered. 
for future yeah. generations. Yeah, and that yeah, I think I think they've uh, well, it's not it's not really their uh, their doing. It's more the filmmakers and the directors yeah. and the script writers doing, and that they included these comments in there about YouTube commenters, and they that I think they clearly changed the script to make it a fanboy. Uh, my thoughts on the movie or uh, the more I think about it about like walking out of the movie theater this uh, this movie was fine I, I didn't mind many of the changes but the more I think about it the more it bothers me uh, mainly the villain it's like we're we're, we're at a point in uh, not not just in the movie itself but in society, we're telling you to shun the people that are different than you. And this is definitely what everyone did in the movie, even the main characters. So that truly bothered me. It's like, uh, pe uh, the, the people that have been shunned for, for believing in ghosts in the movie have been doing the same to the antagonist. So that really, that, that that's my point to pick with it. It's, it's, it's a different thing with trying to beat you in the head with it. With the, 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 the thing about the villain being dislikable. Chris Emworth with Thor in the movie about him being stupid. <laughs> he was yeah, really good. He was, Chris, Chris, I thought, was funny. <laughs> I still yeah, but they didn't try to beat you in the head with it. So those two things, like, I, the more I think about it, the more it bothers me. And again, the, uh, the the chemistry between the uh, I guess Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy didn't really pan out with me that well. I like more the 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 other two supporting characters. Like they were my favorite. They were like the ones I were actually rooting for throughout the yeah. entire movie. The, the the jokes were funny. I laughed a lot. Uh, I, like I, it felt like the entire movie. I was waiting for the, like the last, the third act, the badass. A ghost busting scene, like where they're all just kicking ass. I feel like I didn't get enough of that through the film. And again, it, on top of that, it felt like this movie didn't want to stand on its own feet. Like it just needed a bunch of references to the other movies to kind of keep the audience going. It just didn't feel right to me. It just, it just feels like this movie could have been made any way they wanted to. They didn't mean to call it Ghostbusters. They could have called it something else, and it would have been a, a good movie that I enjoyed. Without this actual like references to other movies, because it, it's just at a point when that there, the, the, it was just too much of it. At a point, this reference are dragging the film down. Uh, if you like Ghostbusters, I say go ahead. You know you you. You're about my age, older than me. Take your kids, watch it. Safe, safe film for your kids. They, and, uh, in front of us, they quite enjoyed it. I think. If if you like reference to older, like the the, the the old school Ghostbusters, you're gonna like it. But I'm gonna say for myself, I uh, the more I think about it, the more I dislike this movie. And uh, what's your proprietary system? And uh, five shards. Five shards out of, uh, out of what? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you two shards out of uh, out of five for my heinous. One thing uh, before we finish this discussion. One thing I've you know read about it I th that I didn't notice when I was watching it is that like their Kristen Wiig's character and the uh, I guess his name is Rowan, the uh, the bad guy, the antagonist of the film, yeah. uh, is that they actually have like similar backstories but the difference is that she has a friend you know she has friends that she can lean in on yeah and where that guy didn't so it's like i think it kind of reinforces a very different ending than the original ghostbusters and it's about you know and don't forget they, it's, about, and don't, it's about friends even yeah. the waiters were shitting on him there's someone that he doesn't know the uh the 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 uh the university uh uh, the uh, the dean shit on her. He was he was just, you know he was just warning her. Uh, I was gonna say uh, they also what's unique about this they created him pretty much. He used their book to create yeah. that stuff. So <laughs> which he read at the beach. <laughs> yeah 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 uh, yeah. I was gonna say uh, my my viewpoint of this movie uh, is uh, it's it's I actually think it's a good reboot. Um, 
Uh, I did think it was a little bit over the top with the the over referencing and the and the uh, cameos. But personally, like looking at it objectively, it's like it's over the top. But personally, as a huge Ghostbusters fan, I was just like, oh my gosh, there's Sigourney Weaver, there's Dan Aykroyd, there's so and so, and you know, so I was excited um, about it. Uh, Chris Hemsworth was funny. My favorite scene is, of course, him with the pictures of, like, you know, which one makes me look more like a doctor, me playing the saxophone or me listening to the saxophone? That was probably the the best scene. Um, I actually think, and to go with the, the, the story, I, I think it was a, a much more solid Ghostbusters, actually, than the original. I'm one of those few people who thought that this Ghostbusters 2, I thought, was better than Ghostbusters 1. Um, as far as like character development and story, I just think that that it was a little bit uh, better than it's the original. Well, the first doesn't have a lot of character development, to be fair. So yeah, to be fair, and they they did that in this one. They did they like I really felt like you got to see them start out, and even at the end of the movie, they're still just starting out, you know. So it, it leaves room for them to grow. The after the credit scene. Uh yeah, the talking about the um. Where they talk about they Zool, where, where they talk about Zool, which which raises the stakes when they mention Zool because look, they can barely yeah. take they can they barely took out that amateur you know guy. So what are they going to do when they go up against Zool? So I feel like it's raising the stakes. So it has me excited to see what happens next. Speaking um, of the credit scenes, I mean, there's this this film was clearly edited, you know, quite choppily. Uh, in revealing that the dance sequence that you think is coming when you see it coming yes. <laughs> it only yes. happens after the movie is over. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought I'm glad that I'm not the only one who caught that. Like they did that. And I'm like, oh god, they're gonna do like a Michael Jackson thriller, and it never happened. I'm like, that was odd. It was um, like they put it down because comedy shouldn't run that long. I guess. I, I guess not. Like it was. You know, I I enjoyed it. It's a Ghostbuster movie. Um. It was solid. It, it made me look. I'm looking forward to another one. A lot of great jokes. Um, I do some. My critiques of the film would be. Um, I felt the final se- battle scene to me it was too. Uh, uh, to use one of your words for me, schlocky. I get. You know what I mean. It just seemed very stiff and very. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even call it schlock. It was just. I mean, it was just a lot of CGI. Yeah, you know, I guess it, that's. It, it, on. It definitely ran on too long. It wasn't. It wasn't handled very tightly. It's like at a point they're like driving around, and it's and it's like they just kind of like sidle up to the bad guy. It's like, oh, hey, there you are. Yeah. You know, it, the 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 last third is is definitely a weakness of this film. Yeah, and I would like, to, and I hope they mention that if they do do another one, they barely beat that guy or that that creature you know they just lucked out <laughs> so i hope when they fight zool it's the stakes will be really high it was just like they really didn't they like you said they just kind of wandered around and then they found the main place to fight him and it was just like but i, I guess that was kind of going with the story that they are this is their first time being ghostbusters so they're not going to really be effective at, at what they're doing and at the end yeah of the there s- wasn't like a scene like in yeah. the original or a montage rather where getting better at what they were doing yeah it's just like oh look they're having trouble using their weapons and now they're good at them yeah it took that's them. not a huge problem but you know you notice it yeah and i i i feel like it, it's important when you're telling a story for a character to watch characters grow and i feel like they're going to do that with these characters hopefully um and uh i'm glad that they didn't go with the whole here's girl egon here's you know girl bankman and all that. I felt like the I can't remember the name of the two the two actresses, but they were like a mix. Both of them, they were supposed to be the two main characters. They were like a, to me, they were a mix of they were both a mix of Peter Bankman and uh, and uh, Ray Stance. Um, uh, I wish I could remember the actress's name. Like the 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 one with the uh, red or auburn hair, whatever her I can't remember her character name. She was rapey like Peter Bankman was to Dana when it came to Chris Hemsworth. Um, and uh, <laughs> uh, her name was. I can't remember her name at the moment. Sorry. 
and the other girl, the the black hair glasses, um, she uh, she had uh, Bill Murray. She had kind of the Peter Venkman character sarcasm, and they both had a little bit of Ray in them, where they got really excited about Ghost, kind of like how Dan Aykroyd's character would get. So besides that, the the other two I felt were kind of Patty, really in particular. I felt like she should have had more screen time because I just felt like there was this. There would be moments where you got, you know, to see her character kind of interact and really emote, but you really didn't see too much of that. It seemed like they just kept on keeping her. This is a Ghostbuster movie. Just be Win- like Winston, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, and she's kind of a a sore mark on the film itself in that she's not a scientist. Also, she's she's a black character with street smarts. Yeah, yeah, and and they even mention that in the movie. It's just like three scientists and Patty. But but there are parts in this movie where you really see her like you want to see she's trying to become more than just like that stereo you know that that gimmicked character but the movie keeps like going no 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 you got to be this I, that's how I felt like the story and everything but there were moments where I was just like I really want to just can we focus on her character for a minute because she's funny and I was I was interested and then also. Uh, you meant you mentioned her name. You guys said that she's going to um, probably get that uh, get a lot of films. She was playing the scientist uh, girl. Yeah, yeah. Holtzman. Yeah, I, I think they stole the show. Her and, uh, and the Patty character. I think they were the two two really interesting characters for me in the movie. But yeah, all in all, I think it's I think it's a solid reboot. I'm looking forward to if they do a sequel. I would have to give it. Five, yeah, I would give it five flakes. I would definitely suggest going to watch it. I really enjoyed it. I laughed my butt off. And, um, yeah, it, but it's not a movie without flaws. It does have flaws, but all in all, I think it's a, a good movie. Hey, guys, 2Bit here. Just wanted to say thanks for watching. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Now, if you want to watch more 2Bit reviews, click the video on the left. And if you enjoy discussing and debating the latest topics in gaming and geek culture in general, click the link on the right to check out our 2-Bit podcast videos. And if you'd like to join the 2-Bit community, click the subscription button in the corner. That way you won't miss a thing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.